What's up guys, this is I with Spurn. Today, I'm going to be comparing the iPhone first generation, known as the iPhone 2G, and comparing it to the iPhone 11 today, 13 years later. So, as you guys can see on the back, is where the biggest difference is. So, you guys can see, back then, on the original here, we had aluminum plastic, and the plastic cracks very easily here, and it's all scratched up. But now, Apple's changed it, so we have glass and aluminum, which is much more durable. And there's no more text in the back, like the, like the iPhone logo down here, the information down here in storage. That It's now just the Apple logo right in the center, which is a really nice touch, Apple. And the size of the phone are different, too. So you guys can see the 11 is just a pancake version of the iPhone 2G here. So you guys can see it has the same shape in the, in the corners here. Down the corner, they have the same shape. And the buttons are metal now instead of all plastic. So plastic buttons did not hold up very well. Because you, as you guys can see, it's very hard to notice about the plastic buttons crack. The buttons don't work properly, as you guys can see. But on the 11, they work so much better now because they're all metal and they last longer now. So, because back then, the plastic on the original did not, help, did not hold up very well throughout 13 years because the plastic will wear down over time. But the aluminum hold up so much longer and so much better now. So, those are the design differences here. And they've switched from the 30 pin connector to the lightning connector. And they moved the speaker. Like I think from here to here on the new 11 here. And you guys can see this is actually a microphone right here. And this, people have been saying this is like a metric air vent right here. I'm not sure what that is. So I think that's a microphone or an air vent. I'm not sure, but it might be one of those two. And you guys can see they have pendulum screws now, like showing on the new phone. Back then, it was, that was underneath the plastic here. So huge design differences here. And they've removed, they, changed, they went from the standard SIM to the nano SIM. On the, on the new iPhone 11. You guys can see the SIM tray has moved from the top to the side on the new iPhone 11 here. So, really cool changes, Apple. So, so that's the design difference there. So, really cool there. Okay, guys, so this next difference is the speakers. So, when I go into sounds here, go to ringtones here. When I go down to the classic on this one here, when I play the Murray on the original, yeah, the speaker which sounds pretty bad. So that's the original iPhone speaker comparing to the new one. Huge difference. As you guys can tell, there's a huge difference in the speakers on the new phone. So on the iPhone 2G, speakers sounded like all muffled. They didn't sound that great. It was very tiny down here. But now Apple has two speakers up here on the earpiece and down here. That's why the speaker sounds so much better now on the new iPhone 11 here. So those are the speaker differences. So really really cool okay so this next difference is the cameras so this is where the biggest difference has come in 13 years so you see on the original it's all washed out muddy and everything does not look that great at all so it's just washed out and everything and no stabilizer either but on the 11 here you see the biggest difference throughout 13 years so the cameras have gone so much better here from like 2 megapixels on the original to 12 on the iPhone 11 here so huge difference there so you guys can see from this dinky two little two megapixel little camera here to this massive 12 megapixel camera on the 11. So huge difference in the camera. I'll show you guys again. So back then you could even video record back then. No video recording, no front screen camera, no LED flash, nothing. All you had is all it did was take a picture, and then it showed to them, just like this. So you just took a picture and showed to them. And now it's all. That's all you had back then. Now you have the tons of extra options like the ultra wide camera, the pan the portrait mode, the pano camera, the video, slow motion and time lapse. You have so many so many more camera options now. And you got live photo now, which you didn't have in the original. So the live photo came with a six iPhone success they introduced a live photo, so huge differences in the camera with the stabilizer and and like the new optics they have in the camera. So huge differences over thirteen years. And the original it was just the camera took a picture, showed them. No, no cool filters, no cool lenses, just a camera. That's all I had back then. So, huge differences in the cameras there. So, really cool. And this next difference is in the far right web page loading times here. So, when I go to Apple for an example here, I tap Apple here on both of them. Guys, you can see when I tap them at the same time, the iPhone 11 loads instantly. And you can see the original it takes about a few couple seconds to a minute to load. So, huge differences in the web page loading times. So. As you guys can see, the 11 loaded it instantly. But the original will take a little, couple of seconds, a couple more seconds. So, you guys can see huge differences in the loading times because uh, the original iPhone used a chip made by Samsung. 
Now with the 813 Bionic chip, it's so much faster now. So it's really cool to see the original is not even loaded yet. I could be, already be doing stuff on this one. So huge differences in the web page loading times. You guys can see it has a lot of trouble loading the big web pages. So yeah, it can't even display correctly because so, it's running Safari Browser 3. So that's why it cannot display correctly. So it can't even load it at the end. So yeah, huge differences there. And this, this last one is when I'm loading like apps, for example, I close that settings here. When I open settings here, you can see the huge differences in the 11 with the original. It takes a little bit of time to load the settings here. In there, the original iPhone is loaded. So it took quite a bit of time in the original compared to the 11, which, which always loads a lot faster. When I go general, you guys can see the tabs are way more responsive in the about here. You guys see the about tab has changed a lot throughout the years. Previously, it does this one little big page. Now they're separated on the new one. See, this one's running 3.1.3. The 11 has iOS 14.0 beta 1, beta 2, I meant. Sorry about that. And yeah, so those are the differences between the web page loading times and the app launching speed. So, huge differences there. Okay, so this next big difference is between the softwares. Throughout 13 years, so iOS 3.1.3 looked like this. We had no control center, no notification center, no multitasking. But on the newer ones, we have the control center, nose kitchen center, the app switcher right here. And we have a lot of cool features like the back swipe here, which is not available on the newer phone, on the original here I meant. So as you guys can see when it eventually loads here, you see I cannot use the back swipe gesture in settings and other, other app, but there is, a, there is a way to do it on the music app here. So you see in the old iPod app, you see we, on iOS 14, we have this set gesture. But now I've discovered that in iOS 3.1.3 and below, like iOS 6 and below, you can actually do it in the now playing screen in the iPod app. So I had to pause the song to avoid copyright here. But you guys can see when I swipe back on the now playing screen, it does the same behavior. I'll do it again. You see, it has the exact same behavior, but a little bit slower. So in the iPod app and iOS 6 and below, you have the exact same backswipe gesture as iOS 7 and above does. So that's a real, another really cool similarity between these two. So they're really cool. And another difference is in the Maps app, see I use Apple's Canvas as an example here. On the newer, on iOS 14 here, we have look around. Like when I go full screen here, we got the look around view and Apple Maps right here. But on the original iPhone, Google Maps to pre-install, so you actually have the Google Maps Street View. So it looks very similar to the newer iPhone with iOS 14 here with the, with the look around here. It looks so similar in, in every single way here. So really cool difference here so the look around versus the google maps street view so google maps still works on the original iphone but if you want to use the navigation on the original iphone it will still work though but you have to you have to only stay on the main roads though but if you go into like a forest or something the gps will stop working on the original iphone so just let you guys know about that so really cool differences is the maps app so google Maps street view versus the apple map look around looks very similar but the Apple Maps can do so much more. In the original, it can go inside places, which the, which the newer version cannot do it. So the newer version can only stay on the streets, though. But on the original, you can go inside buildings if you place the pin just right. So really cool change there. Okay, and the last big difference is the screen size. So you guys can see on the original iPhone, we had a 3.5-inch screen, which, which we can reach in any area very easily to open any app. Like the iPod, we can open any app to the top, like calendar and everything. But on the newer version, they've gotten so big that we actually have to use the reachability, then tap an app, then we can open it. So that's how big the newer iPhone has gotten, like from the from the old 3.5 inch screen to the like the 5.5, 5.8, 5 by 8 on the 11, I think. I'm not sure, but you guys can see the huge screen differences over the years. There are very big differences here. More rounded, no home button. See, we got a home button on the original compared to no home button on the 11 here. And another difference is, the, the slide to unlock versus the swipe up to unlock. So I'll do it again. So on the original iPhone from iOS 1.0 to iOS 9, we had slide to unlock. Now we have swipe up to unlock on the 11. So really cool difference. So if you have an iPhone success and, and later, like any device in the home button, you have to click to unlock it. But on the 11s here, in New World, we have to swipe up to unlock. So really cool difference here. And those are the, those are the huge differences comparing 13 years of of Apple's history here between the first iPhone and the of iPhone 11 here. So huge differences with camera platter as well with the matte texture on the camera platter. But if you have the 11 Pro models, it will be switched. So on the 11 Pro, this will be 
like not matte textured in this part will be matte textured so on the 11 pro is basically switched though so basically the camera lens is transparent on the 11 pro and the back is matte but on the 11 it's switched so really cool difference here on the big camera size with this tiny camera these big cameras with the rings around them huge differences over the years and the vibration here so here's the original that's the original this next one i have to put up to the microphone so you guys can hear this difference here so you guys can hear that on the newer iphones we have the taptic engine now so it's very hard to hear it but we have the taptic engine for the old rotary here you have this on the original iphone compared to this you guys can hear it when i put up to the, when i put it on the table here you guys can hear it you can hear it taptic engine so basically taptic engine is like a have the linear linear actuator inside that buzzes when you when magnets are when the magic when the electrodes put electricity the 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 linear actuator moves so that's basically how that works so on the original we just had a regular old stock old school motor but now the taptic engine has a huge difference now it takes up way less space now so those are the differences between 13 years of iPhone between the original and the 11. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did video, give it a thumbs up for this video.